can twin flames just be friends? Have you or your twin flame ever decided that you were just going to be friends? Twin flames can try to make this decision. And I say try because it doesn't work out very well. And I'll get into that later in the video. But oftentimes, the reason twin flames decide to just be friends or say they want to just be friends is because the circumstances in the physical, in the 3D world, do not appear to be making space for their romantic relationship. However, because of the depth of the connection between them, they realize they are eternally bound. They can sense that they are eternally connected. And they have some sense that this bond cannot be broken, that they will never truly be fulfilled out of each other's lives. So they think that the perfect solution, the way to maintain this bond, indulge in this connection, while still not needing to make those radical shifts in the physical to end the marriage, end the relationship, break up the family, they think that it's a perfect solution to just be friends, to downgrade the romance within the twin flame connection to simply platonic, a platonic bond. However, I personally do not believe that this is possible. I do believe, of course, that we have free will and that if you are a twin flame, you can decide you are just going to be friends with your twin flame. What I mean by it not working out or why I don't believe twin flames can just be friends is even if you make that conscious decision, you and your twin flame will still be feeling the romantic aspects of the connection between you. It will never be truly platonic between two twin flames, even if they say it is platonic. And I'm going to get into more on that later, but first, let me introduce myself to anyone who is new out there listening to this channel. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. But today we're talking about twin flames, and specifically the myth of a twin flame friendship, of a platonic twin flame. In order to fully understand why twin flames cannot be friends, we must first understand that to be friends only with a twin flame contradicts the very definition of twin flames. I feel that many people misunderstand twin flames to simply be a different version of a soulmate. But soulmates and twin flames are very different. Soulmates are simply those who are part of our soul family. So we can have platonic soulmates and in fact, most of us do have many platonic soulmates, including our own family members, friends, and even strangers we pass on the street. Another thing to understand about soulmates is that if we do choose to cultivate a romantic relationship with a soulmate, we are often able to easily downgrade that romantic soulmate bond to a friendship, to a platonic soulmate bond. If you have any exes in your life, that you shared a very thriving, beautiful, romantic relationship with and that one day you decided, you consciously chose that you were going to end the romantic aspects of the relationship and just be friends and it went very smoothly and you didn't feel very negative about it, they didn't feel very negative about it and you were able to step from romantic soulmates into platonic soulmates 
This is a very good sign. This person was a soulmate the entire time, and they were never a twin flame, even if you thought they were. And here's why. When it comes to twin flames, and I'll be releasing a separate video today if you're interested that dives deeply, much more deeply than this, into the definition of twin flames, the purpose of twin flames, and everything you may need to know, like a twin flames 101 video. But for the sake of time, I'll just say here, when it comes to twin flames, you only have one. You have one other twin flame who is essentially your soul in a different physical body. And the only reason I don't fully like or resonate with this idea of a twin flame being the other half of your soul is because I feel that from this people draw that this means they are not whole within themselves and that their twin flame is not whole within themselves and that therefore they must be brought together in order to make two parts to a whole. Whereas in truth, twin flames share the same core frequency. They are made of the same soul stuff, to put it in very general terms. Your twin flame is your soul's essence in a different physical body reflected back to you and because of this we often refer to twin flames also as our perfect mirror the perfect reflection of our soul and again there is only one however they are also your divine counterpart in fact many twin flame channels i really resonate with on youtube actually have adopted the term divine counterpart instead of the term twin flames. I resonate with both terms. The term divine counterpart really means that they are meant to fit together with you in every aspect because they are reflecting everything about you back to you. Because they fit together with you energetically in every way possible, and again, I say this a lot on this channel, but this is getting into one of those things about Twin Flames that's very hard to put into words if you know what I'm talking about. I hope this resonates with you. I will do my best to explain it, but so much of the Twin Flame connection is communicated energetically, non-verbally, so I am doing my best to find concrete words to describe those very energetic sensations. But that was just a little aside, a little note there. Twin flames as divine counterparts fit together energetically in every way imaginable, and because of this, when they meet, I often talk about this massive energetic exchange that takes place through both of their entire energy bodies because remember the physical body is just one layer to us to what we define as ourselves we exist on many different layers many of which are invisible and some of which even extend out of the physical body such as the aura which extends six feet in the case of twin flames this energy, because it is mirrored, because it perfectly fits together, merges upon meeting. And I just had a sort of download realization that as I was saying that, the reason that this merge occurs is because in our universe, like attracts like. This is often why we say, in order to attract your soul tribe, you must step into an authentic space because when you radiate that authenticity, anything similar to it will be drawn to you. The same is true for twin flames, but on a much deeper scale. They aren't just similar, they are exactly identical, so there is a natural magnetism. Again, like attracts like, twin flames being like souls, being in fact identical souls, will attract each other magnetically with a kind of force and pulling power like no other connection in this universe. This pull, because it happens energetically, doesn't just happen in one isolated space, what we could call chakra. So one way to understand the energy in the energy body is to divide it into the seven chakras, ranging all the way from the root chakra 
all the way up to the crown chakra, of course, and I have a whole separate video I uploaded yesterday dedicated to a brief overview of the chakras if you're more interested in that. When it comes to twin flames, because like energy attracts like, this energetic merge happens between them because again, they are very pulled together, especially within that first meeting. Something is activated in that act of pulling together that causes this rush of energy that I call the energetic exchange to happen within each of them. This doesn't just happen through one chakra like say the heart chakra or the crown chakra. This exchange happens through every single chakra in the body and results in an intense energetic attraction in every chakra center. So when we talk about the heart pole, we are talking about this energetic merging, this exchange that is happening through the heart chakra that is causing us to literally feel pulled to our twin flame by the heart. But the heart chakra really gets the most airtime between twin flames and we really neglect to mention the other chakras that are exchanging energetic information that are being pulled together, energetically merging for twin flames. And one of these, of course, is the sacral chakra. And I'm going to do an entire chakra series because I am very passionate about the whole chakra system and how energy moves and becomes stuck in our energy body. But that is another video for another time. I will try to be brief here, but the sacral chakra is the energetic space in the body that houses all of our intimacy, what we would call romantic, sexual feelings and desires within our relationships. This is what most of us would consider is the difference between a platonic friendship and a romantic relationship. Those feelings of and acting upon those feelings of intimacy. Well, just like twin flames exchange energy through the heart center and are pulled together in that way, the same thing is happening through the other chakras, including this sacral chakra. So what does this mean for twin flames trying to be friends? I'll try to bring this all back around for you guys. I know this has seemed a little roundabout, but I feel this energetic explanation is really important because it is the keystone to the arch of understanding why it is energetically impossible. It would practically defy a law of physics when it comes to twin flames for them to just be friends. So through this sacral chakra, twin flames are being pulled with the same intensity as they are through the heart chakra. So just as you can feel these heart pulls toward your twin flame, you can also feel sacral chakra pulls toward them or strange sensations that cause you to deeply desire to be physically, romantically connecting with them in a very physical, intimate way that is usually reserved solely for relationships. And because in today's society, our relationships are predominantly monogamous, I'm assuming that if you are dating or married to another person, in most cases, again, not 100% of cases, but most of the time, your monogamous partner would not consider it to be appropriate for you to be intimate with someone else, your twin flame, while you are in this monogamous relationship. This is why I say that it is impossible for twin flames not to desire to pursue a romantic connection, a romantic relationship, because they are being so magnetically, irresistibly, on a very base energetic level, pulled to one another. But when it comes to love and romance, this isn't just the sacral chakra pull, right? When we find ourselves romantically attracted to someone, it's normally happening within several different energetic centers in our body. In fact, the entire concept of attraction to begin with, that word attraction, comes from the idea of energetic attraction. When we say we are attracted to someone or that someone is attractive, what we are referring to quite literally is that magnetic pull within us toward them, 
it's not really about physical appearances at all. It's about that energetic pull we have to other souls, to other people. So how does this apply to twin flames trying to be platonic? What happens for twin flames is, like I have stated several times through different illustrations in this video, twin flames feel that magnetic pole that we could refer to as attraction through every single one of their chakras throughout their entire energy body. This is why not only do you feel so irresistibly drawn to your twin flame in their physical presence, like you just need to be near them, you need to be around them, but why twin flames are drawn together under the most seemingly coincidental circumstances across all time, space, and distance in order to result in that first physical meeting. So if you are trying to pursue a platonic friendship with your twin flame, you can attempt to repress all of these feelings of energetic attraction, romantic and otherwise, happening within your entire being. You can attempt to not act upon it, to tell yourself you're not feeling it consciously. But even if you choose to deny it, the attraction will always be there. An attraction that runs much deeper than friendship and even much deeper than traditional romantic attraction. This is attraction based on, again, every single aspect of your being that happens within every single chakra within the energy body that is quite literally irresistible to you and to your twin flame. Now, I did say that it's possible to deny or repress these feelings while attempting to pursue a friendship, but why do I go so far as to say you cannot be friends with a twin flame? Well, when I say that, I'm really thinking in terms of a long-term friendship because yes, you can repress and deny these feelings for a while, but it's hard enough to repress and deny them if you are physically and emotionally distant from your twin flame, if you aren't in 3D communication, if you are going about living your life trying to forget them, it's still extremely difficult to impossible to deny these feelings, but at least you have less opportunity to act upon them. However, if you are actively trying to pursue a platonic friendship with your twin flame, most likely, because you're calling it a friendship, you aren't physically disconnected from them. So you are either emotionally and mentally connected through some form of virtual communication, you may still be texting or calling or messaging on social media, or alternatively, you are connecting physically, you are meeting up for coffee, going out as friends. And why I say this is impossible long term is that in each other's presence, whether physically, in person, or even emotionally, when you are emotionally and mentally connecting, because of the magnetism of the twin flame connection that I have fully described in this video, it will be impossible to sustain a long term platonic friendship that doesn't ever flip into romance. It may even flip into romance seemingly accidentally. There are just two opportunities within a twin flame so-called friendship for it to flip into romance. Whether this is when you're texting or calling and you find yourself accidentally saying that you love them or that you need them romantically or that you want to be with them. And I say accidentally because when you are trying to just be friends with your twin flame, you are acting from the conscious mind. You are consciously making that decision and trying to take action according to that decision. But it's truly our subconscious, our energy, that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes. And how this applies to twin flames trying to be friends is you can consciously try to control a certain measure of your actions. But overall, your true energy, what you are truly feeling, what you are truly experiencing on an unconscious, subconscious, energetic level will always come through eventually because again, you can truly only control 5% through your conscious mind. 
This is also why I so heavily promote and discuss subliminal affirmations through this channel because subliminals are designed to bypass the filter of the conscious mind and affect or make impressions upon that subconscious mind, the true deeper levels of your energy. Which, by the way, if you are resonating with me in this material, be sure to check out my 7 Chakra Twin Flame Clearing Subliminal. I have created a library of over 100 subliminals, several of which are designed specifically for Twin Flames, and these are all available on my website, Sound and Soulful. This Twin Flame Chakra Clearing Subliminal is particularly effective for Twin Flames because it addresses and brings to the surface any blockages, any subconscious walls of thought you may be holding onto within your unconscious mind, within your energy field. And it assists you in dissolving these blockages through powerful binaural beat frequencies and also there are about 100 embedded unconscious positive affirmations directed at each of the chakra centers in order to clear those chakras, clear any blockages within them, and magnetize you and your twin flame together in a harmonious union. So if you'd like to explore more about this subliminal, check the pinned comment and the description box. You can try it out completely free for 7 days when you create an account on my website Sound and Soulful. So guys, this video is getting to be a little over 20 minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my thoughts here. To sum it all up, no, I do not believe that twin flames can only be friends because even if they are trying to be friends on the surface, the attraction they are feeling to one another at every level and layer of their being energetically will always manifest between them. Within this so-called friendship, it will always flip it into a romantic or beyond a platonic connection. However, as I say on this channel, I don't want this to just be me sharing my thoughts and ideas. The thing I love most about connecting with all of you beautiful souls out there listening is being able to co-create this channel together. I love hearing all of your thoughts and stories and wisdom down in the comments, so be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know your experiences. Have you ever tried to be just friends with your twin flame and how did it go? Thank you so much for listening, not just to this podcast, but to all of my thoughts here on this channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I am so grateful for this community we're building here together. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.